Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you who is really behind all this in the US, who owns the US and who owns the US government. After the revolutionaries executed King Louis the 16th and Queen Mary Antoinette, her son, Crown Prince Louis, still a toddler, was placed under house arrest, house arrest at the Paris Temple. Two years later, he was smuggled out in a laundry basket by the, his doctor, Dr. Luden. The regarded nephew of the Marquis de Jardes was substituted and he died in 1795. The prince was secretly taken to the Vendée Palace and given sanctuary by Prince Code. He was later moved to a fortress on the River Rhine, where he lived under the name of Baron de Rochemont. He arrived in England in February 1804 with the former royal paymaster of France, George Peso, and was protected by King George III. The monarch at the time of the American War of Independence. The prince charged, um, changed his name again to Daniel Peso, while George Peso became George Peso. King George III gave the prince, now Daniel Peso, a ship and awarded George Peso 600 acres of land in North Carolina. When they arrived in America, they were given help by the Bode family, who were related to the British monarchy. Before leaving England, the prince bought shares in the Virginia Company, and once in America, he acquired gold mines, including the Gold Hill Mining Company, which he purchased secretly using a trustee, George Newman, as his frontman or proxy. With the invention of the steam engine, Peso began to build railroads and leased them to operating companies. He's also, he also established the Lancaster Manufacturing Company to produce timber for railroad products and the Lincolnton Iron Company, which later located in Chicago and formed two subsidiaries. Carnegie Steel and Pullman Standard Company. According to Derek X book, In the Biggest Secret, the Peso Empire became heavily involved in banking. The Bank of Lancaster became the North Carolina Bank and then National Bank, the biggest bank in Texas, in the first of which George Bush, the senior, is a director, merged in 1987 with Republic Bank to form First Republic. This was later absorbed by National Bank, which then merged with the Bank of America. These two launder CIA drug money and that's appropriate because the forerunner to the CIA, the OSS or Office of Strategic, uh, Strategic Services was created from the Pesos um, Security Network, which was founded uh, by the Summer Long and Delta railroad to protect the military railroad system. It's all wheels within wheels, family within family, and Americans have not a clue who really runs their lives and their country. Louis Cass Peso, 1850 to 1939. For a moment, let us digress back to the time when the former Crown Prince of France, now Daniel Peso, 1785 to 1860, arrived in America. Daniel married a woman by the name of Suzanne Reiser or Kisser around the year of 1814 approximately. All marriages of this family's bloodline are through or issue of the families to this day. As they say, we keep the marriage in the family. Susanna was the sister to one Sarah Racer, 
which married a German by the name of John Reed, who owned the Reed Gold Mine and started the gold rush fever in the Carolinas. The Pacers were also involved with gold mines in Daniel's business years before his death. He was instrumental in acquiring with his wealth from gold holdings, fast holdings in the various banks, railroad construction companies, railway companies, canal companies, tramway companies, companies for the manufacture of railroad engines, railroad cars, railroad sleeping cars, pullman, steam tractors, and piles now known as International Harvester, coats, firearms, uh, wagons and buggies now known as Cadillac cars. He owned huge plantation, plantations of cotton, tobacco, timber, and corn. He also owned the manufacture of cotton. Susanna and Daniel had two sons. The first one was Adam and then Jonas. At some time in Adam's young adult life, he was murdered, and all the family access uh, were set up to pass to Jonas, Pesor, upon his father Daniel's death. Jonas carried on the family tradition and increased the family holdings to include steamship companies now known as United Fruit Company, Mining Equipment Company, Alumnia, Alumnia Company of uh, America, Mining Companies for Coal, Iron, Copper, Gold, and Silver, and was the main supplier to the government for gold and silver. They started the meat processing company, now known as Armour and Company, and started their cattle and stock yards across America at the railroad yards. While the pesos were busy buying property during the Civil War, the Union government was actively seizing all property and public records. The reason for this search and seizure was to find out who owned what property, so the so it the government could seize more property. All of the public records were seized from each county court's house in every confederate state and taken to Bradford, North Carolina, where they were meticulously studied, some of them totally rewritten, hence um, to be returned to their original places if they had not been destroyed at a later date. And the Wiscas Pesor is was um, Jonas' son, one of the sons. So that's why um, the record shown that uh, Luis Cas Pesor um, technically uh, owns all the companies and government um, divisions uh, from the Pesor family. We have been living in the illusion uh, in our whole life. And the real owner of the United States and the United States of government is the Peso family. So they own um, the CIA Federal Bank, which is the central bank in the U.S. And they own IRS, um, FBI. In the private sector, they almost own every industry and every company in the United States. Since the time of the American War of Independence, approximately year to, um, 1805. The most ridiculous thing is um, since the IRS is a private entity of um, Paysor, uh, so actually we pay the tax to we thought we paid the tax to the government. Actually, we paid the tax to the Peso family each year. So according to the original contracts with the Virginia company that um, the Peso, he bought uh, um, shares um, in 
for China company. So according to that contract, um, he needs to pay the queen 20% of the tax revenue. So look at that. The Federal Reserve Bank, he owns the Federal Reserve Bank. So in 1899, the Federal Reserve Bank re evolved out of the North Carolina Gold Company. Um, the federal, the first national bank of Charlotte, was the bank that made the secret gold bullion payments to the Queen of England for at least 190 years. At any rate, the Federal Reserve Bank of Charlotte, North Carolina, made the secret electronic funds transfers to the city of London today. This is the 20% of the tax revenues that will forever go back to the crown of England via the original contracts with the Virginia company, which means each year we, as a test payer, will pay 20% of our tax to the Queen of England. Over the years, the Peso family acquired uh, we recruited, sorry, we recruited uh, 13 bloodlines to as a proxy to maintain and operate his companies. The Astor bloodline, the Bundy bloodline, the Collins bloodline, the Dupont bloodline, the Freeman bloodline, the Kennedy bloodline, the Lee bloodline, the Honors bloodline, the Rockefeller bloodline, the Russell bloodline, the Van Dun bloodline, the Merovingian bloodline, and the most prominent bloodline, the Rothschild bloodline. Not only these 13 bloodlines, but also um, each bloodline, uh, um, it recruited um, different bloodlines to help to uh, uh, operate and maintain like um, the companies also. So for example, the Rothschild uh, leads to the Pete Body bloodline, and then Pete Body leads to the Morgan bloodlines. So that's why JP Morgan is one of the um, proxy of the Peso family. Later, the um, bloodline extend to Disney bloodline. So, and then it leads back to CIA because actually, even though these bloodlines um, operate and maintain pays for family companies and the government entities, um, actually, they also uh, disguise themselves as uh, CIA agents and also um, collaborate with the uh, um, England, the monarchy, the, the MI. Five and all the secret surface agencies. So then, um, not only J.P. Morgan, but also uh, you can think of all the big names: um, George W. Bush, which is um, the father, uh, senior Bush, uh, already recruited by the um, Peso family long time ago, and then uh, Clinton, Obama, and and everybody. At the George Bush funeral, who received the envelopes, they all are um, related to the Illuminati, Pesor, uh, Queen of England, the whole, um, I should say, whole group. Given that the Disney is in the entertainment industry, so that means. Um, the proxy extends to the entertainment industry, not only in the U.S., but worldwide. Um, I, later in another video, I will explain the relationship between the entertainment industry to CIA and uh, the Illuminati, which is the um, 13 bloodlines, Illuminati, Satan, Lucifer, etc. Okay, so I think this video has uh, enough information for you to digest and uh, of course please do your due diligence uh, research on yourself according to the information that I have given to you. So I hope you enjoy this video and then I will talk to you uh, later.
Thank you.